Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will learn how to find the number of trailing zeros in any n factorial. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now before learning how, let us first understand what is trailing zeros. So if I have a number, let's say 105, 000, then the number of trailing zeros in this number is 3. Let's take an another example. We have the number 75003. Now we do have three zeros at the end of this number, but the number ends in the digit 3. So the number of trailing zeros in this number is 0. Thus, with the help of these two examples, I can say that the number of trailing zeros in a number is the zeros at the end of the number after the last non-zero digit of the number. Now suppose I tell you to find the number of trailing zeros at the end of 6 factorial. Now I know that 6 factorial is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6. Now we all know that to make a 0 at the end we need a 2 and a 5. This is because 2 into 5 is equal to 10. So if a number is multiplied by 10 it will always end in a 0. So the number of zeros in the end is equivalent to the number of 2 and the number of 5 in that number combined. So this was a pretty simple case. Now if I tell you to find out the number of zeros at the end of 88 factorial, now it is not easy to write down all the numbers from 1 up to the number 88 and calculate the number of 2's and the number of 5 in that number. So let's learn the method for finding out the number of zeros at the end of any factorial value. Now suppose you have to find out the number of zeros at the end of n factorial. Now what we have to do is we have to find the number of 2's and number of 5's in the number n factorial. Now we know that the number of 2's is always greater than the number of 5's in any n factorial. So we just have to find out the number of 5's in the value n factorial and we will get the number of trailing zeros in n factorial. So the formula for finding out the number of zeros at the end of n factorial is that greatest integer value of n by 5 plus greatest integer value of n by 5 square plus greatest integer value of n by 5 q and so on until n is lesser than 5 to the power x. And over here x is an integer value. So we just have to find out the sum of this value and we will get the number of zeros at the end of n factorial. Now if you have a problem understanding this formula then let us solve some few examples that will make this concept clear. Now for our first example, we have to find out the number of zeros at the end of 88 factorial. Now we just have to put 88 in the formula and we will get our answer. So we have to find out the value of 88 by 5 plus 88 by 25 plus 88 by 125. Now we will go up to the number 125. This is because 125 is greater than 88 and all of these values are under the greatest integer function. So 88 by 5 comes out to be about 17 point something and the greatest integer value of that comes out to be 17, then the value is 3 and then the value is 0. And the sum of these three values is equal to 20. So the number of zeros at the end of 88 factorial is equal to 20. Now for our second example, we have to find out the number of trailing zeros at the end of 137 factorial. Now we just have to put the number 137 in the formula and we will get our answer. So we have to find out the sum of 137 divided by 5 plus 137 divided by 25 plus 137 divided by 125 and lastly we have to find out 137 divided by 625 and all these values are under the greatest integer function. Now we have gone up to the value 625. This is because 137 is less than 625. Now the first value comes out to be 27, then the second value 5, third value 1, and the fourth value as 0, and the sum of these four values comes out to be 33. Thus the number of zeros at the end of 137 factorial is equal to 33.
was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy.